Hey everybody, welcome to Workforce Gaming. I am Brad, here with Doug. Hey. Silent Hill, the short message, was mm -hmm. just announced and released uh, during the state of play that PlayStation put up at the end of January here. Mm -hmm. And Doug, being the Silent Hill fan that he is, <laughs> sprinted yes. to his PlayStation to download <laughs> this thing and play through it. I was refreshing, trying to figure out like when somebody's going to send the link. Like I think the second the link went up, I was downloading it. <laughs> and then I had to put my kid to bed, and then I had to wait another hour or two anyway. So. That's... It's always the way it goes with kids. So yeah. um, if you it had like a short, maybe like 45 second trailer of some mm -hmm. girl yelling a lot and some yep. spooky locations. And that was kind of all it was. Um, kind of almost felt like that PT vibe almost a little bit. I don't know if that's every little short Silent Hill thing at this point. But talk to us about what on earth is Silent Hill the short message. Yeah, so Silent Hill the message is a, it's not a free to play game. It's just a game that's free. It is um, weird that that, that <laughs> the free to like calling it free to play implies yeah, something. Know. And I was like, oh, no. And you're like, no, no it's just like a short two, two and a half hour thing. Yep, it is a short two, two and a half hour thing. Um, has echoes of a lot of Silent Hill stuff, including PT. And this was a really, I think it's interesting. It was released like explicitly as like a Silent Hill thing. And they're apparently on some of the, on, on release, they're talking that they want to kind of see like what, this is sort of like a test of like what a next gen Silent Hill could be. Cause they hadn't really done one okay. since Silent Hill 2. I sorry, not yep. since, since PS2. Um, so it's kind of like, it's kind of doing like two parts. It's kind of being like a short Silent Hill story, kind of also sort of a tech demo -y thing. Um, it's more like an interactive, to me, it felt more like an interactive, uh, tech demo -y thing. And that's not a bad thing. I'm just saying kind of like what it is. Cause there's not a lot of actions you're doing. You're mostly walking around, um, this facility, looking at things, reading things, and then occasionally running from things. Um, so pretty no combat, uh, no combat. I, again, it's like, it's, it's pretty similar into, into PT, I guess, and like that level of interactivity. Um, okay. Which, yeah. Just yeah. lots of walking and figuring out. Yeah. So, um, so the, so it's set. So the game setting is really strange. Um, it's, it's one of those things where it's like clearly a Japanese made game and they set it somewhere very strange, but they have a lot of Japanese actors in it. And so it just all kind of like, just gets a little weird. It's set in like some random Eastern European country. And, okay. um, and I think they say it's like somewhere, somewhere in Germany, I think, which was, which was pretty surprising. And, <laughs> um, the whole game takes place in this sort of abandoned apartment building. Um, and they say that this abandoned apartment building was supposed to get revitalized, but because of COVID-19. <laughs> oh, specific, uh, like name drop it and everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They name dropped COVID-19, but because of COVID. <laughs> I feel like normally you just get the pandemic. Yeah. yeah. Like a dragon infinite wealth does the pandemic once or twice. It doesn't name drop it. Okay. Yeah. But this one, yeah. But it's like explicitly says like COVID, like, cause they, like a Chinese company was going to revitalize this building. But then there's a sort of falling out um, because of COVID-19 and the building never got revitalized. So you spend most of your – so you are a young teenage girl and you receive a message from your friend to come visit her at this abandoned sort of apartment building. Mm -hmm. This abandoned apartment building, it's kind of where um, where kids hang out to like do like spray painting and stuff. It also happens to yeah. be a place where high school kids go to kill themselves. Um this game's really strange because it opens on, which I've seen before, like a game like, hey, this this thing deals with like heavy sort of topics like suicide yep. and self-harm, which it does. Um, it pops up this message, no joke, maybe five or six times throughout the game, but not even like... Oh, like as you're playing, like yes. this is coming, like yeah. it's almost going to happen? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really, it's like really odd. Like um, it's, and like, I almost feel like it's worth mentioning because it's like literally the first thing you see. And it's not like oh, we're going to play on this as like a joke sort of thing. It's like, no, if you need help, here's the 800 number, here's resources you can go to sort Damn. of text. Okay. Um, so it deals a lot with that sort of teen suicide, teen bullying, uh, teen social messaging stuff. And the thing was like, once it kind of started with that stuff, I was like, this isn't really Silent Hill. I don't know what Silent Hill is. Um, <laughs> but it's not this. No, it's not this. It's so, I know this is a bad comparison, but have you heard the test for pornography? I don't know what pornography is, but I know it when I see it. It's kind of like yeah. that with Silent Hill. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yep. I don't uh -huh. know what Silent Hill is, but I know it when I see it. Um, so that first half, like where it kind of introduces you, there's a like, girl who's getting bullied and it has like, 
I was so I was really turned off immediately because it has like the like scribbling on the walls like it's your fault you're a bitch I hate you you're ugly does so it all like, is this like all in her mind like is it a lot of like because Silent Hill does a lot of like psychological stuff is this like a lot of like in her mind or is this physically there in this building just because that's like mm-hmm. the place that these people are going well it's it's uh kind of both I mean the thing with Silent Hill is that it's never explicitly in their mind there is like okay. another other world that's always like a part of it like the things are happening they are definitely um molded by the person who's who it's like you know the person going through this environment yeah um so i think it does a good job of kind of and the thing that's good with silent hill in general is like the creepiness is like yes this person might be going insane but it is actually happening to them which is why i think i like silent hill kind of more than other like sort of like spooky things where it's going crazy Mm -hmm. what's real and what's not because like no silent hill it's all real it's just like horrifying things that are kind of wrapping around so the, the story it's funny because like the, the interesting the story with like the, the kids getting bullied and stuff is like oh god it's just like one of those it's one of those games <laughs> where yeah, it's yeah. like you know high school bullying and all that stuff but they, they take it like pretty seriously in kind of interesting ways but then the more you learn about the characters involved that's where i actually think it, it did a very good job of kind of i'm not gonna say nail because they definitely didn't nail it because there's, there's almost too much talking too much like people talking and discussing and that sort of thing but it definitely feels mm-hmm. like a good silent hill plot which I think okay. even though PT is cool, PT doesn't really have a Silent Hill plot. It has like a lot of like allusions to different things of like what's going on and this and that, but there's no real solid plot through it. And yes, you can like figure it out if you do I mean, all the clues and you have and you read the Wikipedia page, maybe. I mean, and also like in- intro intro to a th- idea more than a game there for PT. Like that's yeah. that's step one of a bigger project that never happened versus this. Yeah, so so it was, it was kind of interesting. Like as the story's going on, it's like it was interesting. It had some like the occult aspects of Silent Hill. It had, um, it does kind of explain why there's a Silent Hill game taking place in like some like German village for some reason. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was neat as you learn more about the characters and stuff that like it really I really felt that like oh actually you know this is actually kind of coming into its own as a Silent Hill thing. I I do think though, it feels like. It's not really breaking new ground for Silent Hill, but it's just kind of like, okay, I think we can handle a Silent Hill game now. Because I think like PT, like everyone's like, oh, just do PT, just do PT. Um, but this yeah. is like, okay, we we can't do PT. Like we just can't do it. We don't have the people to do PT at the moment, <laughs> but we might be able to do a traditional Silent Hill. And this like, in this by the end of this and like trying not to spoil, it's like hard not to spoil like the kind of interesting stuff. That, like, oh, this is why it's Silent Hill stuff. Yeah, It felt like it fit really nicely into the mythos of Silent Hill. There was some pretty cool um, scenes that were very reminiscent of like early Silent Hill games and PT. So it's like, it's clearly drawing on that history of Silent yeah. Hill stuff. So it didn't feel like this totally separate other thing. Um, I think gameplay wise though, it's, it's interesting kind of going around and like looking at different things that every once in a while, like a monster chases you monster chasing you stuff is not great. Um, not <laughs> particularly fun. Um, and I think the they don't quite have the aesthetics of what the other world of Silent Hill is. Um, if you ever like, if you ever seen like the Silent Hill movie, Silent Hill movie actually did really well. In the Silent Hill games, there's a sort of like rusted, rotten look to the other world, mm-hmm. and it doesn't yeah. quite do that to the point where it's like I feel like that's kind of important to Silent Hill. If you're if you're not going to do that, then you can do something like totally crazy, like PT. Like PT does not feel like Silent Hill, but it feels like even though it doesn't, it has that sort of like rotting in your heart feeling of like, this is just (laughs) something is off here. Um, And this one just like didn't really have that. It wasn't very scary. There's some like jump out scares, but that's not really what I like see as Silent Hill. Like to me, Silent Hill is like, that lingering this, thought yeah. of what's going to happen and what's coming, coming. what's going on it, it, and something, something spooky's coming up, not the jump out and go, but exactly, exactly. And like, I'm like really attuned to like silent Hill stuff is like a scary thing. I kind of have a phobia of silent Hill. Cause I played it really young as a kid, like <laughs> starting maybe 12, I was watching my dad play the original one. So like any silent Hill stuff, even the movie, which isn't that particular, which is not particularly scary. Like kind of gets, no, to not me. at all. And this one just like, didn't have that PT did that. Um, in its own sort of unique way. And this one, I think that like it wasn't very scary. The one thing I will say, though, is this game reminded me a lot. And I texted you this. reminded me of another game that I played called Devotion. Mm-hmm. And Devotion just kind of did this better. I would, it's, it's hard to say if they, like, if the, the team who made this even saw that one or not. Um, but it's very similar. Like, you kind of walk around, you read documents, you're learning about a family history, like, 
shockingly similar in some ways, but I felt like mm. Devotion did that much better. So, I mean, if you enjoyed this thing, if people were like listening to this, like, oh, I, a lot of people listen to reviews after they play the game. I don't quite do that, but I don't get it anyway. <laughs> um, but if you would, <laughs> don't judge the people who listen no, to it, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> if you liked this one, I think there's another game that did this better, devote which, which was Devotion. But I, and that's the thing, it's like, this wasn't bad, it wasn't amazing or anything like that, but it wasn't like, um, I don't want to say like some of the Silent Hill stuff, like an affront to Silent Hill, it just, it feels like this one at least kind of gets what Silent Hill is, um, and I really did it, it like seemed, that, yeah. It seems like your initial analogy of like, it's testing the waters. Yes. Can yeah. our team make a Silent Hill? When we put out a Silent Hill, what are the things that people are looking for? Like, if this yeah. is, like, your initial concept, and I think people take that a lot when they do, like, remasters of old games. So like, mm-hmm. will it sell? Will people latch onto this? I feel like you could take this as that being, like, hey, we've got a next-gen Silent Hill in the works. Yeah. Let's put out this little, like, it's not a demo. It's not a beta. It's a full thing. Mm-hmm. But... When people talk to us, they go, okay, we nailed the world. We didn't nail the dialogue. We didn't get the gameplay, but we got the aesthetics. Yeah. We got, the, And it's like, okay, we can kind of go through and, and fine-tune what we're working on internally based on some of the response to this. Almost seems like a good a good thought process for what this thing may be from. That Yes, it, it, it feels a lot like that, but um, and it's, it's impossible to not bring a PT. This even has a, a similar rhythm to pt as well which i thought was kind of interesting pt felt is it like a loop like that where you have to like keep doing the there's same there's thing? a little bit of loopiness to it like i don't want to get i don't want to get too much into it um because of spoiler stuff but like pt felt really groundbreaking like even now if you play that thing that thing still feels wholly unique this one feels like i've kind of played it before yeah. but we're, we're getting there sort of thing it's like i'm a little bit more i'm more optimistic having played this than having watched it any of the silent hill 2 remake stuff <laughs> um, the thing that was interesting though is when the credits happen um this was made by hexadrive and hexadrive i only remember making the zone of the enders 2 remaster they must have done some other stuff i should look at some other stuff beforehand but when they do the credits list like they had the akira uh, yamamoto like the guy who does the the soundtrack for silent hill he did the soundtrack for this one the main creature design who did the silent hill pyramid head he did the creature design for this one yeah so like they're pulling in some of the correct names which i thought was like i did not know until like well, the very end and i and i think that supports the theory that okay we're we're using this to go bounce jump off of for a next gen silent hill okay let's get the yeah. people and who are going to be doing that let's get the people in that we want let's have them experiment and play around and put out a really low stakes thing to get to gauge people's silent hill reaction yeah, but it's interesting because it's not that i agree with that but i don't know what it's building to because silent hill 2 is not made by this team um the silent hill forte is not made by this team and the uh oh. the last one is, no no I don't, I don't think you're wrong though and the last one is the annapurna game made by the guys who did uh Oh, what's stories the, untold. Yeah, stories untold. So I don't know if this one is particularly building to something else, which it might it might be. I actually think it. I think it is because it doesn't really make sense to do a giant Unreal Five tech demo and then just kind of throw out the window <laughs> <laughs> when you're done. Yeah, because there's no there's no thanks to there's no Bloober team mentioning Bloober over no this thing at yeah. all. Um, but regardless, I think it makes me more optimistic. It feel it doesn't feel like a cash grab or anything like that. I thought it was like an interesting little thing. I think people will not like it. Um, because some of the game <laughs> so there's there's a really frustrating sequence like right at the end um but no i'm, I'm it's cool i'm i'm excited I, interesting this, this got me excited interesting free to play i downloaded it i'm not a big silent hill person so i didn't run to it like doug did but <laughs> free to play can't go wrong with that but we are workforce gaming subscribe to our channel leave a comment below uh, you can support us on coffee at the link in the description we'll see you later bye